business reports should not look like a long phone book style list of items. Rather, they should quickly expose the most important data elements, top most important variances, and so on. And this is why the Zebra BI visuals, both the Zebra BI charts and Zebra BI tables visual, offer extensive support for the top N plus others feature. This feature will make your reports and dashboards much more focused and much more actionable. There are five ways how you can use the top and plus others feature in Zebra PI. One, uh, you can use it to expose the top and rows in your Zebra BI tables while still aggregate other rows into your report. Number two, you can apply the top N plus others feature to hierarchical tables. Number three, you can use the top N plus others feature in your tooltips to make sure that they are short and very actionable. Four, you can use the top N feature to show just the topmost charts in the small multiples in Zebra BI charts visual. And lastly, you can use the top M plus others in waterfall charts. Let me illustrate this in a couple of practical examples. Let's start with the most common use of the top N plus others feature, namely, we will apply it to a typical simple table. So this is the Zebra BI uh, tables visual now and as you can see I have a long list of rows here in my table I have a lot of countries and as I scroll down um, the elements become less and less important because they simply hold much less value uh, of the total sales for example so this is a typical case where you could enable the top end filter on a Zebra BI tables visual. How do you do that? Simply click, right click on any um, country in your um, list of countries and select the top slash bottom and item from the menu. Zebra BI will now present a uh, window where you can turn on the top and bottom and feature. And let's start with a simple top and filter. You can choose to filter your values by the actual sales or by an absolute variance or a relative variance. And if you would have more measures added to your visual, you will see that you also have more options what exactly you want to filter by. So in my case, I will just filter by the actual sales and you select a number of items for the top N countries in my case. And now what happens is I got my top 10 countries, but I also got another row here, uh, which is called the others row. And this is a row that is automatically calculated by the Zebra BI visual and will sum up all the, all the rest of the countries into this value so that you still understand how important are all the other countries in my example here and <clears throat> how do they actually how does all the rest actually rank uh, within your top 10 countries for example plus even more importantly when a user will observe this table <clears throat> they will understand what is the total sales so this is not just a simple top 10 filter as it is delivered in the native Power BI where you simply filter out top 10 items, for example, and everything else is simply cut. Here with Zebra BI, you will always see the total and you will understand what is the rest and also the end user can simply click to expand the selection so 
the end users can actually increase the number of level, uh, elements or decrease the number of elements. And this works not only in the design mode, but also in the view mode. So any end user, a consumer can do this in the Power BI service once you publish your reports or even on mobile devices. So this was the typical basic case of the top end feature. Now, there are modifications of that. So let's take another um, example where I'm actually focusing more on the variance of each uh, country. So the, the sales variance from previous year, I'm observing that. And again, I have a similar situation where certain countries have great growth from previous year. Uh, this is already sorted by the absolute variance here. So uh, then I run into countries that are more or less have the same sales as last year. And then at the bottom, so this is quite boring here, not many information. However, at the bottom of the list, there are again certain countries that have negative growth from the previous year. So I would say the top ones and the bottom ones in this case are really what we are interested in, most important ones. So that's why now I will enable again, right click, select the top bottom end. And this time, instead of selecting the top end, I will select top plus bottom end. Okay. And if I return seven items, also this time I will filter by the absolute variance the previous year. Okay top seven items, which means that now I have top seven countries that have contributed by their growth of previous year, the top or are mostly contributed in a positive way or contributed in the negative way to my total variance, which is here at the bottom, right? The others row in this case is even more important because it makes sure that all the variances are included in this calculation so that the uh, total variance from previous year is my actual total variance for all the countries combined. And um, the uh, filter of top N simply enables me to quickly understand which are the elements that have contributed um, either positively or negatively to this final result. Okay, so this is one feature that will definitely make your reports, your table-based reports, much more actionable and focused on the really important elements. Moving on to my example number two, which is applying top N plus others feature to hierarchies. Your tables typically consists of a hierarchy. They may have multiple levels in your hierarchy. So um, we are allowing you to actually turn on the top N plus others feature on each level of your hierarchy. So let me first turn on the top N in my example here on my top level, which are the business units. So in this case, Zebra BI actually shows that you're applying the filter to your business unit data field. And let's turn this to on and we'll just show the top three business units. Okay, so now what is happening? I have applied my filter to my business unit. So I have three business units and then I have this others row for the all the other business units combined. And this is the value. Now, since this is a hierarchical table, I will do the same on the second level in my report, which is the country. So I right click on the country this time, enable the top slash bottom and filter. Do the same for the country. As you see, again, here, uh, country is already listed here. This is actually a, um, a drop down menu. So you can actually switch even if you click on the wrong level in your hierarchy, right? But um, I want to enable the top end by country and simply display just top 
five countries or three countries or two countries and so on. So let's do the top five. And my report is now again much more actionable because now I have my top business units and within each business unit I have my top countries that um, contributed to the sales of each business unit. So I have uh, my top and plus others features feature turned on on each level on my hierarchy it's completely separately. In my example number three I will show you a quick idea how you can add explanations to your variances in your reports. So basically on any um, visual that you might have. This could be charts, this could be tables. Uh, you can add an explanation in the form of a report page tooltip. This means that when a user will move his mouse over a certain interesting element, like a variance here, what happens is I get a report page tooltip and the breakdown of this variance is presented again by using the top n plus others feature uh, in my tooltip, right? So uh, the uh, explanation of this variance is clearly presented in the tooltip. So how do you create something like that? Um, you need to insert a new page for the tooltip, then you insert a Zebra BI tables visual like this. Only in my case here, it still does not have the top end feature enabled, right? So that's why I have again this long list of items and um, it's already sorted by my absolute variance. So I will do a similar thing here. Go under the categories group of settings and open the top and bottom end form. Now this is an alternative way how to actually show the top end uh, form. Uh, so this is alternative to right clicking on the visual. Both ways are possible in Zebra BI. And again I will do the top plus bottom end filter and simply display just five items in my case. Top five countries that contributed to this um, variants and now going back to my original report the tooltips are shortened you make sure that you limit the number of rows um, inside the tooltip which means that you have complete control how many elements are actually displayed in the tooltip you will not get some annoying scroll bars and so on but much more importantly you will simply um, focus the user's attention to the elements that actually had some meaningful contribution to this variance. So the understanding of what is causing this variance is much uh, um, more clear and people will simply get it much faster. In my example number four, I'm now moving on to the Zebra BI charts visual and we will see an example how to um, use the top end plus others feature in the small multiples. So now I have a small multiple presenting many charts for different business units. And again as you see um, the certain business units will be much smaller in value meaning that you will have a lot of small charts at the end of your small multiple. And to compensate for that, again, you will find the top N plus others feature. This time, it is under the small multiples group of settings. So if you open that, you'll find, again, the top N here. And if you switch this to items, you can select the number of items, in this case, the number of charts that is uh, depicted on my visual. And then all the rest of the individually much smaller charts are now aggregated again in this others chart. This one is um, 
constructed and depicted completely automatically by the Zebra BI Charts visual. And on top of that, you again have um, those two little arrows where an end user can now actually change the uh, number of charts, either decrease or increase directly on the visual, even in the read mode. Um, okay, so this is how you apply the top N plus others feature to small multiples. And to conclude my demo for today, we will apply uh, the same feature to waterfall charts. Now in waterfall charts, um, you will again see a very similar issue. Um, if the uh, data field that is used to uh, display the contributions in a waterfall chart. In my case, again, these are some business units here, but I have a lot of business units. And again, some of them had a really minimal um, contribution to my total growth here. So I can just click here, navigate under the categories group of settings. And again, here you will see the top and bottom N option. This time it's just simple on and off feature. So if you turn this to on, you will see that uh, the uh, display has changed and now I am displaying maybe top five, top six, top three and so on elements that are contributing to the total variance here. So again, um, all the rest of uh, less important values, um, all those elements were filtered out and automatically aggregated in this others category. So you can do this also in the Zebra BI waterfall charts, both in the waterfall chart with the horizontal axis, as well as in the waterfall chart with the vertical axis. So uh, just to repeat this one more, once more, if you have the chart with a vertical axis, it's the same setting. Simply turn the top end uh, option to on and Zebra BI will automatically filter out, aggregate all the rest of individually much smaller items. And also do one more thing in the case of the waterfall charts, uh, the chart will automatically be sorted. Okay, so the topmost elements are on the top and then the bottom ones, the ones with the most negative contribution will be listed at the end, uh, which makes uh, the whole display even more legible. So um, thank you for your attention. Uh, make sure that you read the article in our knowledge base and download the PBIX example that is also available for you in our knowledge base on the article. Thank you.